Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the pullback or crash, however you want me to, to articulate this to you, not to offend anybody. Um, you know, these are the, the days that, you know, I talk about you know, making purchases in the market, right? And um, if you watch the the show, I have been saying to take profit along the way. And, um, you know, that actually I've taken all of my initial investment out of the market and I've got a lot of um, capital to the side uh, in stable coins, staking um, at like 10 to 12%, you know, on various different platforms. Now I talk about this all the time. I like to make a passive income, but I also like to, to buy uh, the fear on the red days. And um, this is a prime example of one of those opportunities um, that I look to, to seek in this space, right? So these are like the bread and butter for me, particularly in a bull cycle, which we're still in. And um, there's lots of fear out there. So don't, don't take this the, the wrong way. Um, I understand, um, you know, the, the fear that's out there. But, you know, these aren't the, the dips that you should be selling on, right? Like um, we expect a bounce. Matter of fact, I'm expecting all time highs, right? And uh, you know, lots of people have been liquidated, which compounds the situation, makes it look far worse than it is. But let's get down to the desktop and we'll take a look at all that wonderful stuff and I'll highlight some of the projects that I think are primed and um, are ones that I'm looking to, to purchase or I would purchase if my bags weren't so heavily packed already with these particular projects. So if you like this sort of content and you like to support the channel, um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And, um, you know, do let me know in the comments below, you know, what are you fearful about? Do you agree or disagree with me? And, um, you know, if you, you agree, what projects are you purchasing, uh, purchasing right now that you think are going to moon um, very, very soon? Uh, really interested to know. So let's get down to the desktop and uh, have a look, right? So if we start coin market cap, right? I think this is just pretty much where I'm going to stay, to, to be honest. Um, so we're down uh, as a whole for, for the whole market, down 13.4% um, to $2.25 trillion. Um, and this was at about $2.6 trillion uh, previously, right? And, um, you know, we've got lots of potential reasons as to, to why there's some fear. It's not just the crypto space. And I'm not going to sort of get into to all the reasons behind it. I, I think they're kind of irrelevant, really. This is kind of, um, you know, lots of... I guess news out there that does move markets and, and maybe people should be concerned, but I, I'm I'm kind of seeing this as part and parcel of what we were expecting anyway. Nick has obviously sort of talked through the charts and sort of articulated to you guys that we were expecting, um, you know, a bit of a further pullback before we start to to really rocket to the upside. So none of this should be uh, coming as a as a huge surprise to people that have been watching the show. Um, but you know, I appreciate that maybe. Um, it hasn't sort of um, been received that way, right? But, you know, let's sort of get into it here, right? Lots of projects, 14%, 14.5% um, like for Bitcoin, for example, pullback. Uh, and if we have a look here, you know, it was what? It was all the way up at 57,000 and dropped all the way down. Find it here. It won't let me get to, to the exact number, but below 46, right? Like, you know, huge, huge sort of uh, pull down to, to, to the, the bottom there, right? And, um, you know, if we have a look here, right? So this is 2017 and, you know, you had a 38% drop here, another 38% drop here, 33, 38, 36 and 29, right? So these things are to be expected on the way up, right? And uh, I'm pretty sure Nick has probably sort of articulated this. I think this is, um, you know, um, something that's circulating on, on Twitter at the moment. Uh, I think Plan B probably was the individual that initiated it, but this I got it from this person here called Bitcoin. Um, but ultimately, you know, I feel that we're still in this bull cycle. I'm, I'm not concerned in the slightest. This is the reason why I have the strategy that I have, which is to take profits on the way up, to put money aside for opportunities like this. And I always say, you know, buy, buy the dip uh, dollar cost average in to the market um, 
you know, on the red days, you know, the big pullbacks. And uh, that's certainly what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I also dollar cost average on the way out of the market as well, right? Which you don't tend to hear many people say. Um, that means that I'm not going to sell all the way up the top of, of, of the, the, the bear market, uh, sorry, the, the bull market, right? I'm not going to be selling all my bags up here. I'm going to be selling like some here, some here, some here, right? And then on these pullbacks, I'm going to be purchasing cheaper, right? Um, and it, there's a, there's an art to, to looking at the market and seeing when it's starting to, to get a bit overheated. Um, you know, we've we've seen this. Um, I, I took money off the top of my portfolio to purchase my uh, Range Rover Sport. Obviously, I did a video where I purchased it with my Crypto.com card, so I got seven thousand crow back uh, on the purchase. Right, so uh, do check out the the link in the description of the video if you're interested in um, making you know your, your money work a little bit harder for you on your everyday purchases. I really do rate the Crypto.com. Uh, card for sure um but you know this is this is really important you know to to, to flag to people and um you know for, for me expecting all-time highs just around the corner right and when i say just around the corner i'm not talking about in a few hours i'm not necessarily talking in a few days it might take a bit of time for the the fear to dis dissipate um but we will see all-time highs in my humble opinion and obviously none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor Okay, so um, I have um, done videos saying that I'm buying Cardano non-stop. Um, I'm still buying Cardano non-stop. There's some absolute filthy, filthy discounts, um, you know, or, or juicy, however you want to describe it, right? Uh, I think they're beyond juicy. I kind of feel like, you know, one, was it 123 is just filth. You've got to be purchasing that, in my humble opinion, not financial advice, right? But, you know, those sorts of dips are the reason why I put money to, to the side, right? Because this would be 170, 180 in no time, right? So, you know, there's big profit to, to be made on some of these projects. Uh, moving on, um, Avalanche, um, 94, 20, uh, oh, I can't get my words out today, 94, 70, right? Down 12.16%. Again, you know, really juicy, um, you know, price when you consider that Nick is expecting a $225 avalanche, right? So, you know, there's more than a 2x in, in the price currently. In our opinions, obviously, this should be treated as educational purposes only. Um, and then you've got Singularity Dow. I rave about this one an awful lot. Down 1574 Again, I think this is an absolute still at the moment. You know, we've seen some some highs of like over $5 for, for this project. And um, Nick and myself believe that in time, this, this project is, you know, it's going to be one of the, the go-to projects in the space um, for retail investors. So do dig into this one and, and learn more about Singularity DAO, Singularity Net, New Net, um, and the uh, Singularity family. Um, some fantastic projects, uh, amazing team, amazing tech and um you know this is one that you know all retail investors should look at um so those are the three that i am sort of buying up massively at the moment um uh, v chain um down 17.83 percent again i think this is a still i expect big things from v chain nick and myself are doing a bit of a project with v chain at the moment rank 31 my bags are super full so i'm not buying you know this one in huge volume uh, like the other ones but i am purchasing some more v chain again i did say that this was one that you know at these prices i'm still purchasing in this bull cycle fantastic project fantastic tech fantastic use case and utility and that is going to be very important in the future moving on elrond and uh, this got up to like 540 or 560 dollars um recently right so to see it at 315 15 uh, down six percent um, for, for me, uh, $500 was a sell point for me, and I sold some of my Elrond at $500, and I have purchased it back at like three, uh, $314 something. I can't remember the price that I paid. Um, so, you know, again, a fantastic opportunity. Again, we're going to see 500s plus. 
and um, you know this is a project that Nick and myself believe is is going somewhere. But this is you know a prime reason why we say you know don't um, you know get emotional in the market. Set your price targets. Let them come in. Um, people, you know, if I said you know I, I was selling. Uh, a portion of my bag at 500 they probably would have laughed at me um but you know um at 314 getting back in the only person that's going to be laughing is me um so you know do follow you know uh, some of the suggestions um we make around how to structure not necessarily the actual price targets we use but how to structure an exit strategy because it really does work uh, harmony one Again, down 20, uh, 20%, almost 21% at 1994. Again, um, we've seen Elon Musk recently tweeting uh, about uh, DAOs. Um, I've been talking about DAOs for, for an awful long time now. And um, Harmony are doing lots of DAOs, right? And um, it's going to be interesting to see this one really sort of explode because I expect it to. And um, yeah, a very, very solid project with a great team, solid tech. And, um, you know, we've got people starting to build on on the ecosystem massively now. So um, definitely one to, to research and get involved in. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm not purchasing any. We've got the pool. I've got, you know, a huge bag of, of Harmony already. Um, so this is one that I, I'm, I'm gradually sort of accruing more over time anyway. Um, then we've got Hadira Hashgraph, so HBAR, solid project working with some some fantastic, um, you know, companies from, from around the world. 27 cent uh, free, down 17.93, fantastic project, great opportunity, ranked 39, um, one that silently uh, goes about its business. Definitely dig into it, really interesting project. And, um, yeah, we did an interview with Christian a while back uh, from Hadira Hashgraph. Um, so do dig into to that interview. It's uh, it's a great project, right? Moving on to the final one that I'm going to call out now is Cosmos Atom. Um, again, I called this one out recently, down 18.8% at 2632. Again, I think this is a, a project that is expecting some some big runs. Just have to look at who's building on their ecosystem. Rank 32, we expect big things, and uh, one that just had to to make this list. So. I guess the purpose of this video is really just to sort of give my viewpoint on 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 the, the market as a whole at the moment. Talk a little bit about you know the importance of taking money out of the market on the way up, putting it to one side, and making the most of some of these opportunities. Right, dollar cost average in. I do this on the the red days, the big pullbacks, and it's done me proud. Right, and I've got in again. So um, you know, don't panic. I guess is is my thought process. Um, if you're, you're, you know, you're feeling a little bit anxious, um, scared, uh, emotional about your position, you know, maybe you've recently got in and you've paid and now you're at a loss, um, you know, just relax, wait for the market to, to reverse, which we expect it to do so. And uh, things will be gravy, baby. So, um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. With all that said, done. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.